everyone, I'm Eugene with HoustonMotorizedBicycles.com. I'm going to show you how I built the Schwinn Meridian. We're going to put a motor on it as well, but if nothing else, those of you who want a, uh, an affordable adult trike, uh, want to buy one online, you're afraid of uh, the assembly, it's not that hard. Uh, this here took me about 45 minutes. Of course, I was also filming it at the same time, so uh, your mileage may vary. I've built a couple of them before. But uh, if you give yourself about an hour, 45 minutes, hour and 15 minutes or so, you can put one of these together. They're not that hard. Uh, it helps to have uh, an extra set of hands. It's a little uh, difficult if you're doing it by yourself, but it's, it's still doable. It's not that hard. Uh, the hardest thing about doing it is getting the rear end on uh, if you're, uh, you're doing it solo. But once you get the rear end on, get the wheels on, you're good to go. I'll show you how I built it, how I set up. Watch it as well. I'm going to show you how we can put a motor on this thing and uh, do about 20 miles an hour and get about 120 miles to the gallon doing it. So stay tuned. Okay, one of the first things you're going to want to do is find your front wheel. Uh, it's different from the, uh, the rear wheels. The rear wheels just has the holes in it for the, uh, for the shaft to go through and the front wheel has the axles on it. I took a five millimeter Allen wrench and I loosened up the cable on the front brake so we can get the front tire through. If you have you some grease handy, now would be a great time to put some grease down here inside the steering tube here. Six millimeter hex key. I want to get some grease on the threads of the long bolt that goes in there. And then get some grease all over the jam nut, the heavy cast piece here. And push that down. Align it with the wheel and just tighten it up a little bit. We don't need to get it fully snug yet. Now then, we're going to put the rear end on the bike. You have the four screws on it that will hold the basket, so you want that up. So it's going to go on the bike like this here. You've got the one bar here that I'm grabbing here. That's going to be the uh, like the bumper bar to protect your sprocket. That's going to go down. So basically you have the three bars here, one, two, three, that are going to go up. You've got the slots cut here in these plates, which will then uh, go uh, the, uh, the studs. We'll go into there and uh, mount it in place. You've got two of the studs that go through the plate. The rear one gets the nylock nut on it, uh, you can tell it's a different thread, so uh, don't go uh, stripping them. Okay, so uh, you got a red bag, which you find with the the foot pedals. You've got a, the drive chain. And then you've got a master link, which is split into two pieces. You're going to wrap the chain around the, the two sprockets. You will then push the master link in on one end. Then they go together and then you pull. And that will snug it up. Put your chain over both of the sprockets. And then now we put the two half links in. The half link, master link, whatever they're called. I'm, I'm not too familiar with the terminology on this one here.
There we go. Now what we need to do, you got a lot of slack in there, we need to pull the rear end back. And tighten her up. Let's get this nut off that's going to be uh, holding the fender support. Put your seat post on the seat, tighten it up. All right, we're on the home stretch now here. Next thing we've got to do is put our foot pedals on. Uh, your foot pedals, on the right hand side you have standard threads. That is the old adage, righty tighty, lefty loosey, meaning Clockwise tightens it up and counterclockwise loosens it. On the left hand pedal, you've got reverse threads. Counterclockwise tightens it up and clockwise loosens it. On the uh, end of the stud of each foot pedal, it is stamped R and L. R for right, L for left. And as you can see, it's not that hard to put this together. I want to thank you for watching the video. I hope I showed you a little something here. Nothing else showed you how simple it is to uh, put this, uh, this three-wheeler together. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching.